Good evening, this is Holly. Welcome to the Claremont House Bed and Breakfast Kitchen. Tonight I'm showing you how to make one of my favorite childhood dishes. It's called SOS, features ground beef and a nice white gravy. You eat it with a good old fashioned piece of white toast. It's so good, it's so quick. I just love it and I can't wait to share it with you. So we're just browning our ground beef, but you can also use ground turkey or ground chicken or ground tofu, whatever protein really suits your family style best. Once you've browned your meat, you want to go ahead and remove the fat. Such a wonderful dish. This is such an easy dish to make, and it's great if you just have to have a couple of minutes and Everybody keeps some ground meat in their freezer. And if you don't, you should start. Okay, so the other night I was thinking about this dish and I called my mom to get the recipe. But before I did that, I looked on the internet because you know, you can't resist looking up recipes online. And I was surprised to find a couple of different variations of this recipe that uh, mentioned using canned hamburger. I didn't even know such a thing existed until I just learned about it yesterday. But that's a really easy thing to keep on hand if you don't want to have fresh ground beef or if you don't have any fresh ground beef in your freezer, you can always buy it canned. Who knew? Use two tablespoons of cornstarch in one cup of water. If you put the cornstarch in cold water and stir it up before you pour it into your pan, it helps keep you from getting lumps. I've browned my ground beef, and I have two tablespoons of cornstarch in this mug here with a cup of water. I'm gonna pour this slowly into my pan so that I can start building my sauce, or the gravy, rather. Perfect. So I'm gonna let this cook a little bit, and then we're gonna add two cups of milk and some nice onion and chive cream cheese. This has got about eight ounces in it, but we only need half of it. Whoa. I love using this recipe because it is so fast. And it just brings back all those memories from childhood. So I look forward to sharing this recipe with my children. Right now, they're too little to eat. quickly. Fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and add two cups of milk. And while that's heating up, we're going to go ahead and open up our onion and chive cream cheese. I'll grab a spoon and start spooning it out. Really, I'm gonna cut this in half because it's a full thing and I only need half of it. I'm just drawing a line with my knife makes for a nice good cut there. I'm just gonna put little dollops of this cream cheese right in my pan with my ground beef, some salt, and pepper, and milk, along with that cornstarch and water. So we like to eat this on toast. I usually just use nice white toast, but you can also use a good whole grain. It'll be a little healthier for you. But I suspect your kids would prefer it on white bread. So as I mentioned, both my parents worked when I was growing up. And this is a really fast way that we can make dinner, sit down together and catch up on the course of the day. And we, of course, often helped by putting the toast in the toaster and buttering it. For a good alternative, instead of using butter, you can just spread some cream cheese directly on your toast. That'll make this even richer and tastier. Mm, it smells really good. 
I can smell that onion and chive cream cheese. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. I can't wait. It's nice and bubbly. The cream cheese is really melted in. The toast has just come up on the toaster. See those big chunks of ground beef. going to be super delicious. And just like that, our SOS is all ready to have. I'm going to grab my toast and put some cream cheese on it. Just going to put some of this onion and chive cream cheese directly on my toast. And then we'll cover this bread with SOS. I love to serve this with a big salad. And that's it. Just salad. SOS. Great. Great good. Nice and rich. It's thickened up beautifully. Need a spoon to pour it That is so good. Mmm. This smells really good. so you all can see this. I love this dish. It's so good. Something I grew up with and I hope you enjoy it. This is my finished dish. I have two pieces of toast that I've spread with chive and onion cream cheese and then I've topped it with my SOS which is a nice ground beef with a white gravy that also features that chive and onion cream cheese. And you can do this with a ground turkey or ground chicken even tofu if you like. And we're just going to take a piece with the toast. I always like to, I'm a big fan of bread. Mmm. Wow. Now my mom never used cream cheese in this recipe, but it is really good. It's a nice upgrade on a classic that we used to enjoy. Oh, I, I remember sitting around the dining room table eating this with my sisters and my parents. Mm -hmm. Really good. I also ate this in front of the TV a few nights. We used to watch the A-Team. I hear there's a movie coming out. You should check it out. Mm. Wow. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make SOS. It's really easy and cheap, and I hope you enjoy making it with your family and it becomes a big part of your memories as you grow. Thank you for joining me.